Welcome to ELH4X4 doing stuff. Today we're working on a 2012 Nissan Rogue SV, that's Sierra Victor, with the big old inline four. I don't know what the leader is. Uh, I think it's the only one that they have though. I'm not sure, don't quote me on that. But today we're dealing with um, mass out airflow sensor. Customer gets a um, code. I had pulled it up several times with my scanner. I have pulled it up with my scanner uh, and I don't know what the parameters are, but this is the third mass airflow sensor that's been replaced. And it's not the, the OE factory Hitachi. So let's get into it. We're gonna pull up some data on our scanner and see what the grams or whatever the measurement is per second. However, we'll put the Hitachi in there, clear all the codes and do the same test and see what the factory replacement measures. All right, update. This is a 2.5 liter inline four. All right, let's get it. All right, so right off the bat, we got a P0101. And according to this, it is a generic check engine light. It says that there's no drivability concerns and to visit your dealer. But these are the vehicles that it affects. And the Rogue isn't on this, so that's not a concern. What I have done for the customer was I've taken um, the sensor out, cleaned it with mass airflow sensor cleaner, put it back and the code went away for a little bit, but then it came back again. So what I wanna do is see if there is some kind of data that is incompatible with the computer system. It's the problem with using non-factory replacement parts. You know, there may be a little bit of uh, resistance variance in the non-factory parts that the computer thinks is an actual problem. So we're gonna come back, when, well, it's almost, almost done. We're at 97%. All right, it's saved. Okay, so. Replaced mass airflow sensor. Clean throttle body, clean mass airflow sensor. All right, so majority of them are replacing the uh, mass airflow sensor because I already cleaned it and it came back, so we're just gonna replace it. But let's get into the live data I don't know what list it's on, but list one. All right, so we're at 3.5 up to 4.3 I don't know you know what what a good sensor looks like so I'm going to replace it reset the code and, and then do another uh, grade. I'm going to talk about the actual sensor itself. It lists a six pin connector with five pins. Okay, 
So the connector itself has six ports for the blades, but only five of them are used. So I was kind of confused on what the proper uh, sensor was. So after looking at it, the sensor itself has five pins, but the connector is a six pin connector with one of the connectors not being used. All right, we're gonna use a seven mil and a universal. This is what I was talking about. There are six ports on this connector, but on the very last, or however you're looking at it, on the very outside one, uh, there's only five wires going into it, and this last one isn't being used. So this is what, whatever this one is. It looks about the same. This is the Hitachi. Okay, the sensor only goes in one way, and that wasn't the right way. So the metal, metal plate goes towards the front of the vehicle. this thing started by hand. Get the key on. And reset the code. hitting stuff. No codes present. Let's get this thing started up. 
and shut the windshield wipers off. was for a little while it was up in the five six area so it's kind of reading higher right now i, I got to figure out how to shut the windshield papers off but it seems like it's it's reading higher it's staying in the four five range there's a problem we'll do a follow-up but you know, I'm kind of seeing a um, a different reading as far as like the parameters so did we fix it I don't know it's going down to two going up to five So if there's a problem with it, we'll do a follow-up. But if not, uh, if, or if it's fixed, then there won't be a follow-up. So thanks for watching ELH4X4 doing stuff. And remember, you're going to spend a little bit more money with the factory replacement part at, for one. But over a period of time, this was the third mass airflow sensor that this lady purchased which costs way more than the factory one so just do it right the first time all right take care